since I moved back home, I've been wanting to photograph a car. And the problem is I don't know anyone with that type of car that I want to photograph. I don't want just a regular average Joe car to photograph. I want, I want something special. Like I want some like muscle, some nice car to photograph. So I've been looking around a little bit. I uh, asked Alex that went to the sawmill with, do you know anyone with a car, type of car like this? Yeah, like uh, his name is Joachim. He owns a Camaro SS. Uh, and showed me a picture. And I said, like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know that guy. I haven't talked to him in a while, but I used to play hockey with him. So I texted him and asked if it was if it was up to it and if, if he wanted to meet up and have a little photo shoot. And yeah, and he thought it sounded good, so like we met up and had this little photo shoot. Uh, we met up down, down at docks, uh, just by the hockey arena that's in town. Yeah, he did some skids. I flew my drone over him, ended up really cool. When it got darker, we went to the cranes and I had this plan that I was gonna use this. It's just a plastic pipe with a flashlight taped to it. So, Lately I've been very much into light painting, so I already had this plan made up in my mind. I wanted to put the, the car underneath the cranes and snap a photo with some light paintings behind them. We tried it out for, at first just underneath the, the cranes, but it didn't work out the way I wanted. So we're like, oh, we want more, more of the stuff. We want the cranes to be visible, we want more stuff to be visible in the background. We moved back a little bit. So yeah, we did some light paintings behind the car. Uh, we took a couple pictures, tried a couple times. Not like the light, like the, the lights behind the car. Like one picture wasn't good, two wasn't good, three pictures wasn't good, but I merged all those three pictures together and it ended up like this. Uh, and I also took a picture with just the uh, headlights on so I could merge that in too. So, so pretty much this is from four pictures. I mean, you can see the crane, like the blue, like the blue light coming up on the hotel in the background. Can't get it better than that. It got really dark, so like, okay, let's go to let's go to the parking garage. And see if we can get some cool overview photos when we're driving up like the ramps. We got some cool, cool photos there. And we, also we had this plan on uh, when we're done with all the photos, like I got what I wanted, he got what he wanted. When we were like done, we started talking and he's like, yeah, you know what would be really cool? If you did like a highway photo, like when the car is driving, I told him, yeah, that, that would be really cool. I, I'm down for it. Like, let's arrange it and do it sometimes. Uh, we can film as well. Let's try that out. Let's find that empty road, like somewhere and go like back and forth down the road, filming, photographing, like in the, like with speed, like you get a picture with speed. And yeah, I think that will be looking really cool. It's just, you need to be a couple of people to actually pull that off. You need someone to drive my car. Yeah, I can't drive and photograph at the same time. That would be legal. And as always, I used my G9 to photograph with today with a Sigma 56 millimeter lens. My favorite lens. Most of the pictures I've been taking with this 56 millimeters. I will probably post the picture I've taken on my Instagram, so go follow me there if you want to see them. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. Uh, also, uh, go to Printler, buy some, you can buy pictures of me there. Uh, I have I think it's totally seven or eight pictures there right now. I'm trying to update it as often as I can. I'm trying to find pictures that I feel will be suited on the wall. I think this picture with a car, it's it's going on my wall. Probably gonna end up on the wall behind me like for my like, new scene set here that I've been trying to accomplish. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.